Welcome back on the Bud Light Post Game Show as we're joined by head coach Jim Yarbrough, a 61 to 58 victory for Southeast Missouri here at the University Center today. And coach, uh, this is a ball game that uh, it looked like Southeast Missouri was about to run away with uh, going into halftime and coming out of it. And despite all of that, the game plan was working in the first half defensively. You were shutting down the inside, six points total for Nino Johnson and Tyler Stone but you were missing shots on your end of the floor, and that kind of let things spiral out of control early. Well, no question about it. I mean, we were just very paltry shooting performance by us tonight, and, and uh, you know, which is hard. It's hard to explain when you're at home. I don't know if it's, if it's about pressing at this point, trying to, you know, accomplish a lot instead of just little bites here and there, but... Uh, we, you know, we held them to 61 points, which I thought was about right. I was hoping maybe we put them in the mid to high 50s, but we were just about on schedule. And out rebounded up, and turnovers were right, the turnovers were high, and um, but it just it just seemed like we had some, just could not make an open shot to save our lives. We had the ball. I mean, I think we had the ball back with about 40 or so seconds to go, and. Had a great opportunity maybe to drill a three in transition or get something inside. We come up with nothing. We have to foul and go down to the other end. And I think you know, we had the opportunity maybe to you know, tie this game with, with 30 seconds to go and we couldn't do it. And, um, you know, we just ran out of time. You know, we, it was two and a half, three minutes to go and we're still down double digit points. We just refused and were unable to to capitalize. It was just it was an extraordinarily frustrating day. But you know, we started off like a house of fire and stopped scoring for ten minutes. And it started with a bad turnover by Todd Nelson, who stole the ball and instead of us running down there with confidence and transition, we throw the ball up and they come down and dunk it. And from that point on there was about a nine minute drought that was really hard to, to, to fathom, but we got out of it right at the end, and it's an 11-point game, so it's not out of reach by any stretch. It looks like we're going to get it under control several times and get it to 8 and 6. We just never got it there, and they would keep pushing it back to 12 and played even forever. I, um, you know, I, I knew what we saw at the end is in us. You know, we're playing an extraordinarily tough schedule. We're not playing any bad teams. You know, this is a top four team and maybe a top three team in the Ohio Valley Conference, Belmont, Murray State, and these guys will probably be one of the top three or four teams in this attack. They come into our building, they've got a lot of talent, they've got a lot of weapons. And yet, we've turned them over 17 times, we've defended them very well, but our inability to just kind of get a rhythm offensively and, and to go in these huge long drives is just, I, I, it's, it's inexplicable. I've got to find some answers and a comfort zone for this team. We, and we've got to learn to win again. And just close, 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 but we're not doing things to capitalize, you know. And it's just, it's, it's very frustrating. I know it is for them, and we just have to make sure as a team we stay as a tight unit. We don't uh, give up on each other. It's very early in the season. We've got things to still to accomplish, and, you know, the conference play is really what it's all about for us. But it's really disappointing to drop one at home. We're really tough at home, and I just hate we dug such a deep hole that we just really couldn't get out and it would have been great to send this thing to overtime. I think the momentum would have swung completely back our way. But we, we floundered, kicked, you know, just messed the ball away so, so many times in, in so many different ways. And, um, you know, it, and it was just about the time where maybe we were going to run something, get some movement that we'd had success for, and then someone wanted to break off and go one-on-one -on -one at the wrong time versus at the right time. And, and that's the, the coordination of our efforts. What people call chemistry is just a little off right now. But, you know, you look at this. Jeff Ricard had 10 points. He's a very talented young man. He can attack you. He can draw fouls. He's 10 for 10 from the line. But he's 1 for 9 shooting and 0 for 3 from threes. I mean, how do we how do we compensate for that? It's, I, I don't have an answer for that one. I, I really don't. I, we, you know, we focus on shooting. We do a lot of things to try to keep our team... Doing fundamentals, but that it's um, 
it's tough right now. It's really tough. We're in a, we're in a tough place, and uh, through go, it's a tough way to go into exams. I hope we can go to ULM a week from Monday and get in the win column. It's a very beatable team. Of all the Division One teams we played, this may be the easiest of the opponents, and they won't be easy. Uh, Coach Richard does a great job, and they'll be ready for us. And last year we beat them, and they came roaring back at the end when we had a lead. So it, it, nothing will be easy, but... You know, maybe maybe Roosevelt can get himself going a little bit. Maybe we can have a, get a little bit of confidence and, and end this drought, which I was hoping we would do tonight. Well, Coach, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, best of luck on the road and getting through exam week here. Yeah. This is the, the next obstacle. You get through this, and then you can concentrate on basketball for about a month. Yeah, yeah. And we, you know, I, I don't know if that's what we need to concentrate on or not. I don't, I don't know what the answer is right now, but I hope we find uh, what to concentrate on and, and, and then start to figure it out. All right. Thanks, Coach. Yep.